And there's Carlos Carrasco's Toyota numbers right there, his 18th start. Carlos has taken the ball every time. It's been a tough year for him. Four pitch walk. Swing and a liner in the right base head. That's in there for a call strike three. A generous call on the outside corner from Phil Cuzzy helps out Carrasco. Wow. Swing and a line drive into center. That's down for a hit. Reynolds will be in to score. Hayes takes third and will be held there. A two out, two strike RBI single for Henry Davis. Welcome home, Henry. And he swings and misses. Snap throw by Alvarez. And now they've got the runner hung up. Uh -huh. Alonzo looks at third. Now throws it back to Lindor. And now the throw comes home and it gets by Alvarez. And Hayes scores. And they're going to call the runner at first out of the baseline. And that's going to be the third out, and the run will not count. So Davis ran out of the baseline to avoid the tag. Uh, that was called by the first base umpire, Mark Ripperger, and that's the third out. Now there's no attempt at there's no attempt at the tag. That's you're absolutely right. No attempt at the tag. So that's what Sheldon's out there com complaining about. And you're absolutely right, and so is he. If you do not attempt a tag, then you can't be called for running out of the baseline. That's got a break there. Quinn Priester, the rookie right-hander on the mound for the Pirates, his sixth career start. And Nimmo lines one into right field for a base hit. Just pulled down the third. That's a fair ball going over the bag and down the line. It'll go all the way to the corner. Nimmo to third. He's going to be waved around. He'll score the tying run. Alonzo pulls in at second base with an RBI. Double and the Mets get even. It's one to one. And with that RBI, he now has 468 runs batted oh. in for his major league career, tying Keith Hernandez for 10th on the Mets all time list. 1 0 is chopped up the middle and cut off by Piguero. He'll get it on to first for the final out. And Vogelbach hits one out to center. Well hit. Back goes Sawinski to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Daniel Vogelbach goes the other way. Vogelbach to left center for his ninth home run of the year. And the Mets go in front two to one. And a play made by Rebos. On to Priester. 2 1 Mets. And he fights it past third. Perfect. Hit it hard enough to get it past Vientos. And into the corner it goes. And a leadoff double for Connor Joe. Line to left field. A base hit for Hayes. And this will tie the game. And Hayes into second base with a double. He is red hot. His 44th RBI of the season. Jack will take outside ball four. A little tapper. And a bobble and a drop, and the bases are loaded. Carrasco not able to field it cleanly. And Rivas goes down swinging to end the inning. Carrasco found the gumption to get through the inning with just one run scored. Breaking ball ripped to the right side beyond Piguero's reaching attempt at second. A base hit into right field. Pitch in for a strike. The ball bounces away from Rodriguez, and now Lindor taking off. Rodriguez has no idea where the ball is, and as Lindor gets to second, he picks it up right behind Pete Alonso's back. Bounces away from Rodriguez. There goes Lindor for third. He's there safely. No throw. Diving play by Alika Williams. What a play. That is sensational by Alika Williams. The runner doesn't break for home, and Alika Williams gets the second out. And McNeil lines one in the left center for a base hit, and that'll bring home Lindor with the go-ahead run. There we go. Goes back to the slider. Down and away, strike three. Nice. Works the walk. Gets it on the ground to second. Piguero gets the out at second. The relay not in time. There goes Ortega, swung and missed. The throw by Rodriguez, not in time. Ortega's got the stolen base, his third. And Arruz cracks one to deep right field. Back goes Davis, back near the wall, and it's out of here. Jonathan Arruz with his first home run as a New York Met. A two-run shot to make it 5-2 to two New York. So the Mets have scored in each of the first four innings against Quinn Priester. 3-2 is looped into deep left field. Joe back warning track, and he'll make the catch. 
A step or two shy of the wall. And he lines one toward the gap in right center field. That's down for a base hit and a roll all the way back to the wall. Lindor's got his second hit of the night. He's going to stop at second base. And ball four, so Alonzo's on the walk. The 0 1, the runner goes from second, the pitch taken low, and Lindor walks into third with a stolen base. So it's a 2020 season for Lindor. McNeil flicks one out to left. Lindor tags at third. Joe doesn't have a great arm. Lindor's coming home. Joe's throw is cut off. And now the throw back to first, and Alonzo gets back safely. McNeil drives in his second run of the night with a sacrifice fly, and it's 6 to 2, New York. Swinging a foul tip, got him to chase. That slider held on to by Andy Rodriguez, so he ends his day with a strikeout. Ball four, sixth walk issued by the Mets. And a broken back grounder to third, charging Vientos, can't make the bare hand play. And Williams hits one toward the hole, cut off by Lindor, a sidearm throw to second, scooped out by Araujo, and they get the double play. They're challenging the call at first, and they're going to win that challenge. They're going to win the challenge. After review, the ruling on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Pittsburgh will retain its challenge. And he got him looking at a changeup. Coonrod with back-to-back -back strikeouts of Joe and Reynolds to put up a scoreless sixth. And Nimmo drives it out to center field. Back goes Sawinski to the warning track at the wall, leaping. He can't get it. Home run. Brandon Nimmo goes the other way. His 16th home run of the year. The Mets have scored in each of the first six innings in a home game for the first time since 1987. As Nimmo goes deep, the Mets' third home run of the night to make it 7-2. Swung on and popped up toward third. Hayes on the rim of the outfield grass. He'll make the catch, and the inning ends. 1-2 coming to Connor Joe. And it's in there for a call strike three. 0-2 coming. Hit in the air to center field. Should be easy for Ortega. And the ball game is over. That's when their second straight. Adovino closes it out again. Mets score in each of the first six innings, hit three home runs, and they defeat the Pirates in the opening game of the series 7 2.